In this short video, I'm going to show you how to build an MSI package uh, for deployment within your organization. Uh, first up, we will use the application um, wizard, which allows me to import a native Windows uh, installer package, which is the common way software vendors today deploy or offer software to you. Uh, I'll just uh, click Next here. It allows me to search for an existing MSI as I got it from the vendor. I'm just taking Orca as an example. Here it's a nice and small uh, but very configurable application. I hit Next and it will actually read that MSI file to find out what the actual software version and name is. So I'll just manipulate that a little bit to make it look nicer. Then I'll tell it to copy this into my repository. That is our software repository that gets broadcasted and distributed across your enterprise so that all installations uh, where available will be held from a local repository. Um, I hit next. And now this MSI is being analyzed and automatically packaged up. Um, when, if I would click finish here, it would actually do just as out of the box standard MSI installation um, as if you just run it and hit next, 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 finish and be done. Um, but I can also at this point record a default installation behavior. Uh, what that does is actually it, it creates something called a transform for MSIs. That's the way you manipulate an MSI package. Uh, and its execution. Um, I'll just call it Orca MSI. And next up, it runs through the UI sequence of that actual installation without installing the software, but it runs through the dialogues that you would be presented with as a normal user when you install the software. So I call it uh, Heat. Organization is also Heat, and I put a different license key in, one, two here. Um, Let's put some other numbers in so I can show you that later. Um, then you hit next. Now I can say I want not don't want to do the typical installation, but a custom installation. And I, let's say I do not want this particular piece to be part of my installation. And I also don't want to have the validation data in there. So I hit next again and install. And as you see, it actually didn't install the software on my machine, but it recorded my choices. So when I now go over into my packaging workbench, I see this is the package now. Uh, where that it will deploy Orca. When I look at the script of it, you see this is the simple MSI install product of this MSI within our repository. It actually automatically applies that transform that we created. And when I click on it and go into the edit mode, it opens up um, visualization of the transform where I can then in detail see how I um, deferred from the default settings. Uh, give it a second, it's loading up here. So here you now see the transform and all its properties. When I go into the details, you can see like, remember when I changed the license key, it's highlighted here. I agreed to the license agreement. I uh, chose the custom installation mode. So all of that is visible and you can also change other settings if you wanted to. Um, and you can also see under features, what features I selected and which ones I deselected. So the transform wizard uh, captured all of that uh, and without me having to do any further work, I can actually take this now and start running a pilot installation to a subset of machines, uh, release the package once I'm satisfied with it, and then I can actually move it out into production once that's done.